Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a data prediction using convolutional neural network in MATLAB. So, I have taken a stock data of a company. So, if you can see the data here. Totally, just I have taken 60 data. So, first row is the starting price of the data. Second row is the closing price and the third row is the the next day starting price and next day ending price so here i am going to take 30 data for training and 30 data for testing so i'll open the program so this is the program so here this is the stock data so we are reading the training in uh, uh, training input from the data first excel sheet from a1 to b30 so you can see the excel sheet a1 to b30 so this is the starting data and starting stock value and the ending stock value of previous day so this is the starting stock value and the ending stock value of the next day so this is the training input and the training output so training output is the next day stock in starting value and the ending value c1 to b30 so for uh, it's not like lstm lstm we can give the sequential data here for the kind of direct convolution neural network basically we are using it for images and uh, uh, different two dimensional data purposes so here we are going to predict for one dimensional data so here for that we need to convert the input data into 4d array so you can after reading the data you can do a for loop and you can take the data one by one here we have taken only two inputs your starting value and the ending stock value finally we are making in the four dimensional data so this double a is our training data and we are con constructing the convolution neural network so here the first layer is the image input layer here we are taking we are giving the data as 2 1 1 2 is number of data 1 1 is the x and y directions dimensions so we are constructing the layers here input convolution first convolution is 32 layers and this is the one dimensional data then activation second convolution is 64 layer and third convolution 128 layer and doing the activation relu. finally we are we are having fully counter layer 2 because our output is 2 input 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 also 2 finally the regression layer so that the layer construction has been completed now we are providing the training options and here only we are doing the training so a is our train data input data train input and the training outcome is the y train and the layers and the options so you can see it here training input training output so the same thing only we have taken here after training we are going for testing testing for i have taken from a31 to b60 so this is the our testing data after training we need again for the testing also we need to convert into four dimensional data so i used a for loop here then this testing outcome this is the testing outcome from c31 to d60 so this is the predicted outcome here only we are doing the prediction so this is our trained model and this is our input data so finally we are plotting it i i think you understand uh, understand the program little bit more oh. so now i'm going to run the program so the program is started to run First, it's reading the training data and the training outcome.
now the training process is going on the training progress window is opening so it's taking the total iteration of 33000 so here you can see the loss value and rmsc so when the iteration increases automatically rmsc values and loss value will be decreasing you can see it here in the command window as well so it it will take some time because 3000 iteration is there meanwhile i'll explain the program once again so it's nothing it's just uh, stock data this is the starting data of a company stock data this is the ending price value of a stock market so i have taken the 30 data for training and another 30 data for testing from 31 to 60 so this is the training outcome next day starting price and ending price likewise i have taken totally here also we are taking 30 data for training outcome and 30 data for testing output so likewise you can take any uh, different input here i have taken only two input and two outputs so here just reading the data training input and training output after that we need to convert into four dimensional data after that we are constructing the layers for different filter sizes and give, and we provide the training option then train the data after training we are uh, testing our data for testing we are reading the data from a31 to b60 from the excel sheet a31 to b60 after that training data also should be converted into four dimensional data so this is the uh, sorry testing data also need to convert into four dimensional this is the testing outcome we can check it how the system is performed how this this cnn is performed so this is the predicted outcome here only we are getting the output so now i think the training has been completed so this is our outcome so oh, this is our stock market predicted red line is the predicted and the green line is the original so you can uh, see the data here almost same only we are providing the input from the 31 to 60 almost same data we are getting so actually we are providing the mm, two data rights uh, 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 stock market e starting value and the ending value just i displayed one the starting value only so if you want to put the ending value means you can you can do here so that we can get the ending stock market values for example So hmm, this is the starting price of the uh, original data as well as the prediction data. This is the ending price of the stock market data. So here we provide the two inputs. So separately I have shown it in the two different graphs. This is the starting data predicted as well as original. This is the ending data predicted as well as originals. So I hope that you understood something regarding the CNN how to do the prediction. Basically this prediction will be doing the prediction with the help of LSTM but here we use the direct CNN. So CNN sometimes it will provide the better prediction uh, accuracy as you can see that it's almost same only little changes there. Like this, you can see, you can measure the performance metrics like MSC, RMSC, like that. So, I hope understood everything something.
so so don't forget to subscribe the channel if any doubt means you can ask me through email or whatsapp thank you thanks for watching